footage came out i am going to insert certain clips like when i first weighed myself first took my measurements all that in here because i want you guys to see it from the beginning in my mind i had an idea i was like maybe if i keep the footage and um just pretty much show you guys how the process of me figuring things out but i still didn't care for how the footage came out so certain clips i'm going to insert after I finish talking, <laughs> I'm gonna insert it in and then let you guys see all that information. And then after that, I'm just gonna go back into just doing it this week and then we just going to go from there. So I did wanna show you guys my starting weight and measurements. And then I took my measurements off camera actually because I honestly forgot to do that. I just showed you guys my current weight for today. So I am going to actually um, show you guys my notebook and put in my previous even though it's gonna be a clip showing that I'm still gonna show you guys now so y'all can see in comparison um so yeah good morning my lovies don't mind my parents <laughs> I just woke up and the reason I am up is because your girl is up to take her measurements and her weight we're doing this again guys this time I'm actually going to document everything. I think that's actually going to keep me motivated and keep you all motivated because that's my goal. So, yeah, let's get on this scale and see how much we weigh. My toes are cute. That is unacceptable. We got to lose that weight because though I don't feel like I'm that big, I am. What did I do? Okay, let's take this. Um, let me actually write this down in my notebook before I forget. It said 197.4. So, today is August 10th. FYI, let me put that in the video so y'all know when I started officially. This is 197.4. I actually don't remember. Yes, 197.4. I'd like to see that I didn't lose any type of weight walking from here to there. <laughs> I'm gonna show y'all the measurements <laughs> if y'all didn't see it all on camera. So, this is what I'm working with. This is my weight, my bust, my waist, my hips, my umbilicus, <laughs> my bicep, my left bicep, my right bicep. So, y'all can see my right bicep is actually smaller because that is my dominant hand than my left. It was funny because at one point these both were 15. I think my left part was 15 and a half. But at one point they both were 15. One left gained and uh, my right lost. My thigh left is 24 and a half and then my thigh right is 24. So they're kind of even.
this is what we work with, what we're working with current day. <clears throat> See? Okay, so this is my previous weight. I lost 1.4 pounds, which like I said, I feel like because I'm constipated and um bloated that that's adding on to it because I honestly feel light if that makes sense. I don't know. I feel a difference in my body, but the scale saying that I didn't lose that much. So <laughs> with that being said, um as far as my butts, it did go down because I was at 44 and now I'm 43 and a half. My waist is at 41 inches and it was at 42. Um my hips is 48 and a half. It really didn't change. So yeah, the umbilicus is the same thing. 46 and a half my bicep actually went down on the left so it's 15 and then the right remained the same and as for my thigh my left it actually gained so I don't know if that's muscle because this is 25 and a half and this is 26 and a half and my left like gained tremendously so yeah I don't know if that's just muscle gain or just fat gain <laughs> I don't know but um obviously we're gonna see what happened this week um my goal is to upload this weekly and then bi-weekly I will upload with me actually weighing myself in because I don't know I don't want to be relying on stepping on scale too much because like I said I feel a difference in my body especially when I exercise I know I'm not the same as when I started August 10th so we're gonna just see once I debloat and all that stuff so see what I'm working with um yeah and I probably do need to eat a little better <laughs> uh, I've been standing my calories but I need to plan out better meals so we're gonna see how I'm gonna do that this week um anyway I'm about to go eat me some breakfast I gotta hurry up actually I got 15 minutes hurry up eat me some breakfast and then I'll see y'all when I come home because I gotta head to work honey <laughs> So this is my breakfast. I'm whispering. This is my breakfast. This, this is a snack for later. Just because I get hungry. This is what I'm eating for breakfast. Okay, so I just got home. And usually when I come home I have a snack depending on how hungry I am. And I'm actually not hungry. Um, so I'm not going to uh, eat anything. I didn't eat that Nutri-Grain bar thing that I showed you guys earlier. Uh, I didn't. I just had the protein shake, banana, and peanut butter toast for breakfast. And like I said, I'm still not hungry. It's 11.28 and I eat that like around 5.30 I believe. Probably 5.41 or 2. But, um, but yeah, I'm not hungry. So I'm just going to drink some water until lunchtime. And then I will show you guys what I ate or what I'm going to eat for lunch. And then start my classes. Because I started class officially today. It's the 24th. And, um then after that we're gonna go for a walk and come back have dinner and that'll be the day well this will be day this is day 14 um so we are two weeks two weeks so you know now that i thought about it um i actually did lose a good amount for two weeks because technically you're supposed to lose two pounds I think every two weeks I'm not sure I gotta double check on that I don't know if it's two pounds a week or two pounds every week because it's two pounds every week then a girl slacking but nonetheless a weight loss is a weight loss I'm not gonna sit back and be like oh my god I should have lost more so um yeah I'm gonna aim to do 100 100% better and just try to stick to my guns on a lot of stuff and be more strict but other than that I feel like I have a good thing going I try to work out I try to do cardio, cardio, strength, cardio, cardio, strength. And then usually the extra day I'm either not doing anything at all or I probably do something light like go for a walk or a stretch. So yeah, that's pretty much the goal for this week. And oh, another thing also, um, I use this app. I want to tell you guys this really quickly. It's this app called Fit One. I usually use that for my workouts because I, I work out in my room because I get up like way too early and I don't want to be making too much noise. So just so y'all know, I am not being sponsored by this at all. <laughs> I'm just putting y'all onto something real quick. Um, this is the Fit One app. 
ta-da that's how it look um the actual app look like okay so the app doesn't want to clear up so i'm i would just put a little screenshot oh my god y'all can't see me i just put a little screenshot on the the corner um yeah it's just a pretty cool app it gives you a lot of workouts has some amazing trainers on there and people that i actually know like jeanette jenkins um <laughs> jeanette jenkins as you can see that's what i'm gonna know it has a dancer guy that i do know i've just forgot his name and this is new trainer they they put well it's actually two new trainers um hold on i'm trying to go to the trainer section because they do have an option where you can break it down by trainers um what's her name what's her name brianna's one i love her workouts um she do like between she do all stages beginner advanced and intermediate but my favorite one is danielle that girl will kill you <laughs> If you want to sweat like you've never sweat before, do Danielle's workout because let me just tell you. But yeah, they have some amazing workouts on here and then you can rate them and give them suggestions and all that stuff. And then they have, you know, if you want to just work on a certain body part, the app is very easy to use. They even have challenges if you want to join and push yourself and make sure you get work done. So I was a part of the August challenge where you're supposed to do like 10 workouts before the month is out. And I've already completed that. Not to brag. I, I mean, I do this. But no, all seriousness. Um, Yeah, as you can see, I achieved the August challenge. So I got the badge. So yeah, I just... um, I have also will probably do workouts on youtube or if i feel like working out in the living room do a dvd workout or to get on a treadmill or the bike whichever one um but yeah i just wanted to show tell you guys about that app real quick they have other awesome apps um i believe a nike had an app i don't know if it's just for running or they actually have workouts i don't remember so yeah just go through your phone phone there's free apps on there to help you work out also like i said there's youtube and if anything if you're the type of person that likes to create your own workouts there's outdoors before it gets too cold if you live in a area where winter is for sure a winter so yeah um anyhow that's all i might say i've done enough, enough rambling let me get some things done <music> Okay, so this is my last meal that I'm eating. It's almost, I stopped eating like around 6.30, so it's 5.15 now, so I'm eating my dinner before we go for a walk. Um, I do have this garden roasted turkey cutlet and some roasted veggies over here. It actually comes in this little pack that I'm going to show you. But before I eat this food, I'm just drinking some ACV water. Um, if you guys don't know ACV, is apple cider vinegar water. Um, I read that it's really good to help you de-bloat <laughs> and get the whole constipated feeling out of the way so I'm going to drink this before my last meal and yeah that's pretty much it let me guys show you real quick this is the mix that I got I got this actually from Jewel it's her roasting it has as you can see Brussels sprouts but in a squash and onion um I was going to pair this with rice but I honestly didn't feel like cooking it so I just used the veggies and the veggie cut the patty so yeah, that's pretty much it. My last meal and two. Going for my walk, guys. We gotta check out so we're gonna see one, how many steps we can get by the time we get home. How many steps did you have? Oh, I think I had like 8,000. So we're gonna see how much I get by the time we get home. Okay, so we're home from our walk. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how the vlog style will be. Pretty much, um, it's gonna be showing me work out here and there and uploading um, with a mix of showing you guys what I eat for the day. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna vlog every day, but I do know that it's gonna be like a weekly thing. So um, like some days you probably see me skip 
a day like today today's Monday and I skip Tuesday and I'll pick up the com camera Wednesday or I'll pick up the camera when I feel like I need to say something or whatever the case may be so that's pretty much today it was just a pretty much showing you guys how I plan on doing this vlog style so you guys can get the sense of it <laughs> y'all see this Tootie did that to me she brought her marker outside and I was holding her hand but yeah that's pretty much how it's going to go like I said with my workouts I pretty much plan on doing cardio cardio strength and just repeating that pattern until like Sunday or Saturday where I rest one of those days and then I'll just pick up from where I left off and then just trying to stay within 1500 and 1800 calories and weigh myself by weekly um what else I think I pretty much said majority of everything. Other than that, that's pretty much it. Oh, let me see how many steps I got. When I go for my walks, it's pretty much me doing extra because when I exercise early in the morning, that's my actual exercise for the day. Then anything I do after that, whether if I do another workout or if I go for a walk or if I want to dance around like a crazy person, whatever the case may be, would technically be just extra stuff that I'm doing and not necessarily my workout you know what I mean unless I say like today I did not want to get up I was so tired I kept snoozing my alarm but I eventually got up and I exercised I got up like around 4 45 which is the latest time that I get up because I try to get up between 4 30 or earlier but I got up at 4 45 and I had to pep talk myself into it but nonetheless let me see how many steps I did today so I got all my hearts as y'all can see um, I burnt 676 calories that's me being active um, I did 32 minutes I don't really care if I had a stain count this is a Samsung watch it doesn't really count a lot for my active time because it has 32 minutes but we all know I did more than that <laughs> I know I did more than that and then it got um, the blue is how many how much I move in the hour within an hour I think but so I got I got 11,635 steps in today my target is 6,000 um me personally it's 6,000 for my least amount 10,000 for medium and then anything above that is me definitely just prospering <laughs> so I got 11,635 so your girl prospered today and overall uh, I need to understand this actually because it's saying that uh, the amount of calories I burnt today was 1,894 and then um, I burnt 591 calories from activity for me being actually working out and being active and all that stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much my goal. Um, I don't want to necessarily set weight goals for myself by weekly, like say how, um, I lost one pound basically <laughs> this week um, within the two week thingy um I don't know if I want to do that every week because I don't know we'll see but in my mind I do want to at least lose three pounds <laughs> by next by the next way in so I know I can probably lose more um but I'm just going to start small and just go from there. Nonetheless, like I said, the weight loss is a weight loss, whether it's one pound, half a pound, whatever. Your girl lost some weight. It's get there slowly but surely. So, yeah, that's just a word, some nice little words for people who feel like they're exercising and not getting anywhere. You just, it's a, it's a, what is it? I don't want to say it's a marathon, <laughs> but it is something that's going to take time so just keep pushing yourself you know just tweak what you feel like didn't work for you did work for you so yeah so yeah i will see y'all when i see y'all what is up y'all so it is um thursday <laughs> aka day 17 um not much has happened right now i'm over here cooking me something to eat so i just decided that i should turn on the camera and catch y'all Wait, let me t tell y'all what, what's been happening. So first of all, <laughs> um, like y'all know, huh? but y'all know I started class. So 
I've been getting adjusted to that as well as working and working out. I've still been getting up at 4.30 working out except for this week on Tuesday and Wednesday. Girl or boy, whatever. Y'all, <laughs> your girl was so tired. I don't know why I was so tired. Hold on, let me flip my bacon. Um, I don't know why I was so tired. Honestly, I just was not in the mood to get up at 4.30. 445 5 o'clock I just end up exercise don't get me wrong I still exercise <laughs> I just end up exercising after I got off work instead of early in the morning like I literally could not get up it wasn't even a oh I don't feel like it it was a I am too tired to like I I was going to bed on time I was going to bed early whatever the case may have been but I was literally waking up when my alarm would go off I would be laying there like I don't feel like I got enough sleep so I was just like you know I'm not gonna do it I'm just going to listen to my body no I'm listening to my body and follow that and that's what I did and I'm kind of glad I did because I would have preferred to get more rest so as you said I'm going to work I didn't want to be like irritated and <laughs> sleepy you know how that goes anyway above the that I just been working out when I got home but today Thursday I got up with my alarm I browsed my phone a little bit and then I got up did my little work down mm -mm. so yeah <laughs> um other than that I'm now just sitting here making breakfast um I'm not sitting here making breakfast it is four o'clock girl I'm here making me a breakfast sandwich for dinner because um that's what I, I've been craving a lot of smoothies. I mean, not smoothies. I've been craving a lot of breakfast food. But what I was about to say about a smoothie is, I had this smoothie this morning. It's supposed to be it's a smoothie if I'm on Pinterest. Y'all know your girl loves on Pinterest. And I was on there, and I'm actually going to remove my bacon now because I've been burning my bacon lately. Um, but I was on there, and I found this smoothie, and it's supposed to be a weight loss smoothie. The smoothie, I was scared to try it at first because it has some ingredients that I usually don't put in my smoothies. So, I ended up having it and it was delicious. And I have not really been hungry all day today. Like, this is literally my first meal. I've been snacking and it wasn't even a lot of snacking. It was just like very light snacking because I can snack if I really want to. <laughs> but I was snacking. Hold on, y'all can't even see. But anyhow, I was snacking and now i'm actually like really hungry i just got hungry at like 4 6. like even earlier today i really wasn't that hungry but i just kind of knew that i need to put something in my system because i didn't want to feel like i was burning more calories than eating and like i said i don't think that's really a healthy way to go about weight loss so naturally if i'm not hungry like like i said that's why i was snacking because if i really wasn't hungry i wasn't going to make me a full course meal and my body really wasn't feeling it so I was snacking, but right now I just got hungry and now I'm about to make me a breakfast sandwich, which is gonna keep me full for the rest of the, the night, pretty much. Um, so what else? Oh, I also up my time of exercising. Like usually before in the morning, time-wise, I'll do like a 20-minute workout. But um, now I've been doing my morning workout and then I'll come home like right before I go to bed like around like 7 like I'll eat dinner and then I'll exercise like around 7 the latest I did was 8 o'clock which was a big mistake and I would do that workout and that will also be like another 20 minute workout um so pretty much all together now all in all the whole entire day I'm doing like a 40 minute workout so, which I pretty think it should be that should be good because this is my third week now and I should be able to start pushing that giving my body some more because your body has a way of getting into habit especially since they always say if you do things for two weeks straight it becomes a habit right so your body's gonna get used to that okay she's only doing a 20 minute workout she's only been doing what a 25 minute workout she's only been doing this certain amount of time of a workout then my body's gonna plateau and my body's gonna get used to that aka that's what plateau is and I'm not gonna really see any progress like I'm gonna see something obviously but you know you can do more because after a while it's just gonna just stay stay in that standard flow or if anything I'll probably be maintaining the weight loss 
versus actually losing some more so I'm kind of glad I did that because at first I was like I think I'm probably doing too much but you know I looked at it and I was like you know what this is my third week I can start pushing it either when you get into your to the flow of things you either start adding more repetitions you go harder you switch it up you know what I mean so that's what I'm kind of doing now I'm in that phase now I was trying to switch it up I'm still doing the cardio cardio strength cardio cardio strength rest break it down again to cardio because while I'm doing so much cardio you may ask this because I am trying to burn a lot of fat and some workouts that I do choose to do on a fit on app um I usually let me turn this off I didn't even toast my bagel okay so some of the workouts I do choose to do on the fit on app um they do sometimes give like a little strength mix in with the cardio so it's not fully cardio but sometimes most times I'm trying sometimes most times most times I'm trying to pick workouts that's just strictly cardio because I'm trying to burn a lot of fat and then as I slowly see fat drop I want to start incorporating more strength but right now I am doing more heavy load of cardio and still trying to get some strength here and there and then still do like some stretches to not get my body too tight so yeah my goal is to see a bigger number of weight loss because at 1.6 or how much was it 1.6 or 1.4 one to two that weight loss it's a loss but i know i can lose more than that i've done it before so i know i can do it again so yeah girl gonna do it again okay anyhow um what else oh i am planning to do which i'm gonna vlog the whole day and that's probably be the cap the the icing on the cake of this whole entire vlog and then I'm gonna upload this video on Monday. Um, pretty much, <laughs> I plan on doing a water detox. So, how the water detox go, I saw this on Pinterest. Where else would I see it? I mean, I mean, I've seen people talk about it on Twitter, but I decided to do my research on Pinterest. <laughs> and it's pretty much where you drink water that whole day, you're not eating anything, you're just drinking water. And, I think my body can get a nice little flushed out system. Um, I think kind of on Saturdays, I'm gonna start incorporating some type of like little fast or a, I don't wanna necessarily say a diet trend because I mean, diet, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm gonna incorporate something with something. But right now I do wanna just focus on the water fast, so let's get back on topic. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna eat one good meal that morning. I don't know, it's between six or seven o'clock a.m. I'm going to enjoy me a nice, good, huge breakfast. And then for the rest of that day, I'm just gonna be drinking water until Sunday, whatever time I choose to eat, 6 a.m., 7 a.m., I am going to eat again. So I'm kind of interested to see how that goes. I mean, I kind of have that feel today. <laughs> if I'm not, if I wasn't eating at this moment, um, I probably so I probably make that smoothie again and make a little bit of something else with it, just so I know that I am 100% full. Like that's probably why I incorporate some intermittent fasting, where I know there's one where you just eat 500 calories for the day and then you're done. So I probably end up doing something like that, try to eat a certain amount of calories and then just know because I don't like I said on Saturdays I usually rest anyway that's why I chose Saturday to do it because I don't feel like I'm going to be burning off any extra um calories besides just sitting on the TV <laughs> sitting on the TV sitting and watching TV so I kind of feel like Saturday is the perfect day for me to do this I'm excited I first I was nervous I'm like I don't know what if I don't succeed <laughs> what if this is like Tyler fun and just fail no your girl gonna do this because I got goals I'm trying to reach so that's the whole plan for that so I do want to just like do some check-ins like I said I don't want to record every single day because I mean there's only so much that I can touch base on especially on a daily basis it's kind of gonna be like okay one more that's why I kind of want to do this as a weekly thing and not just like me uploading it every single day because I want to have at least a collective amount of information for you guys this especially things like switch up like how I turned on the camera because I didn't record 
Tuesday nor Wednesday, but here's Thursday and I probably don't record tomorrow, Friday, and then I'm back again Saturday for you guys so y'all can see what I am doing. So, yeah. Um, like I said, with the whole Saturday thing, I do want to look into another fast, but I'm not going to look into another one until after this one. So if this one goes great, which I know it is, because we're going to speak it into posit a positive matter so it can happen correctly. Um, so this one's going to go great. <laughs> and then I'm going to try another one. And if I don't find another one that I really don't care for, I'm going to just stick, and stick with the water fast until I find one that I feel like is perfect for me. Oh, I, I'm not bloated anymore, guys. <laughs> and I don't feel constipated. I know that's, like I said, TMI, but... I just want to take you guys along this journey with me and if I feel like I feel something then I'm going to tell you guys if I don't feel like working now I'm gonna tell y'all I felt sick so nauseous whatever I'm gonna enlighten you all on that information because y'all are part of this fitness journey with me so yeah my food is done so I'm about to just go eat my food but other than that I will definitely see you all Saturday where I'm vlogging my whole entire water fast. I'm excited. I'm excited. Let me stop being dramatic. I'm really excited about it. So, yeah, I'll see y'all then. Y'all, that's probably eating, and I really look like I'm gonna be talking about made food. I didn't even show y'all what I had made. Let me show y'all real quick. <laughs> um, it's just a breakfast sandwich on an Asiago bagel with onion, spinach, white cheddar cheese and morning star bacon because i am a vegetarian so it's morning star bacon and an egg white so yeah if y'all wondering what i was eating okay so here is my pizza that i was so excited to make oh my god i have my half barbecue chicken pizza and then i just have a regular cheese pizza on this side i just put sweet baby ray barbecue sauce as y'all can see some red onion and then i use garden meatless strips as y'all see a little brown in there and then mozzarella cheese over the whole entire thing and yeah I'm excited to take this out the oven see how I look because your girl's ready to eat I am hungry and a quick little add in here if you are a pop drinker or a soda drinker however you call it um here's a recommendation for you all drink some by bubbles sparkling antioxidant infusion it tastes just like a soda and I'm a sucker for pineapple soda <laughs> I love I mean I don't drink soda a lot but I love pineapple soda so this is a pineapple peru drink and I also drink kubachas well if you're trying to cut back on your soda and here's a recommendation and it's only five calories for one can so yeah I'm just show y'all this so y'all can see the info on that this is gonna be my first time actually trying pineapple though and I have watermelon as well so I'm excited to try both of these so yeah there go my beautiful creation guys look at how all that cheese so this is the barbecue side like i said earlier y'all see how the chicken got in there and got a little crispy because i warmed it up in the microwave because you're supposed to cook it on the stove but i figured by going in the oven it's going to crisp up some more so i just warmed it up in the microwave to defrost it pretty much and it looks pretty delicious if i do say so myself and then this is this side y'all know tomorrow i am doing my detox so I'm about to enjoy this little pizza because the last time I'm going to eat is breakfast. And then the rest of that day, I am just going to water for the rest of the day. So, I'm about to enjoy this. So, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Good morning, y'all. It is Saturday. It is detox day. Um, I'm all excited. It is 6 in the morning. I've been up since 4.30, y'all. My body has gotten used to the schedule of getting about 4.30. Um, but like I said, I did not exercise today. I am not planning to exercise today because I'm doing a detox. Um, right now I'm not hungry. My goal was to eat around this time, but I'm not hungry. So, um, I'm just going to eat when I actually get hungry. And then whatever time that is, that's when I'm going to actually start. Well, when I finish the meal, that's the time. Wait, no lies. The time that I decide to eat and I do get hungry is going to be the time I'm going to eat for tomorrow. Because like I said, I was trying to eat at 6 in the morning because I thought I'll be hungry because that's one time I usually eat at like around 4.30. I mean not 4.30, around 5.30. 
and I'm not hungry so I do have to wash so I'm pretty sure with me walking around washing it will start working me up an appetite so then by the time that happens we're gonna get started I'll see you all in a few <laughs> I'm over here looking like Ray J y'all gonna see my bunny being different um variations There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just tell y'all now, I'm gonna be in this bunnet all day, so get used to it, okay? <laughs> um, probably not, because I do gotta go outside. <laughs> anyway, um, it's getting close to seven o'clock, and I'm starting to get a little hungry. It's 6.58, so I'll probably start making me some breakfast, and I'm gonna make this a nice, decent sized breakfast because I don't want to be stuffed but I also want to be full enough where I know that if I start slowly getting hungry I could just drink some water and it would boop 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 <laughs> fill back up so yeah the fasting starts guys oh my god okay <laughs> okay let's go guys Okay, so here's my breakfast, guys. It's done. Okay, we're gonna talk about this donut in one second. Wait, ignore it. So here's my smoothie. Um, like I said, this smoothie keeps me pretty full. Well, it kept me pretty full for a very long time. So I'm pretty sure that this is gonna do the trick to hold me over. Um, the sandwich is just giving me extra because even though I was full, I still feel like I had room to eat something else. You know what I mean? So that sandwich is what that's supposed to play and um i know you so i'm cooking three pieces of bacon but one of those bacons went to jelly so it's only two pieces of bacon on here and then this donut is just a treat to myself because my dad got me this donut yesterday and i definitely was not gonna let that go to waste so yeah <laughs> i'm not sure if i'm gonna eat all of this i'll probably even eat half the donut and just save the other half for tomorrow um so yeah i just wanted to show y'all that before it get demolished because it is i don't even know what time it is y'all it's 7 32 so i'm gonna set my alarm for when to eat again and then for tomorrow obviously but then the rest of this day i'm just gonna be drinking water so yeah guys this is exciting so i'm gonna eat my food and then i'll probably come back like a few hours later probably when i get hungry again or feel like i'm about to get hungry and then just you know <laughs> so yes let's see how today you go guys okay so i just finished my breakfast and that would begin <laughs> um i tried to drink my smooth well i tried i did i drank my smoothie and sandwich first and ate my sandwich first so when I got to my donut, I didn't want to be like forcing myself to eat it if I really didn't have to. So yeah, I actually was hungry, hungry. So everything is gone and now we wait. <laughs> okay guys, so it is um 12.45 right now. Um, yeah, it's 12.45, I was right on a dot. So uh, we are now five hours, well, yeah, we're now five hours into my fasting um i'm not hungry hungry like i need to eat a meal hungry but i can still i can feel myself um starting to get towards that way i can feel myself getting towards that direction of see myself getting hungry but i'm not like oh my god i need to eat something or anything i'm doing perfectly fine i still have my energy up um i am like i said i am doing like house cleaning and washing and all that stuff so i am moving my body i'm not just sitting still so um right now hold on put y'all in the vaseline 
so right now I'm at 3,392 steps and that's pretty much all I'm going to be tracking today. Like I said, I didn't do anything heavy as far as exercising. So in the morning when this is all done, I am going to do a workout before I eat. So yeah, hopefully I stay asleep <laughs> long enough so when it's time for me to get up, I can just exercise and then immediately make me something to eat. But I'm doing perfectly fine. I feel good. I've been drinking water, um, but I haven't had a whole bottle of water yet. I've been splitting it with jelly. So, yeah. So far, so good. And this is five hours in, guys. I feel really great. Okay, so I'm just sitting here folding clothes. And your girl is... Hi. Okay, Hi. we'll get back. <laughs> oh, are you okay? So, I'm sitting here folding clothes. And it is now 2.25. Uh, I am now, what is it? I was five hours. I'm about to be seven hours in now, and I am now hungry, hungry. So I do have a water bottle. I'm about to drink it right now. And um, this time I'm not splitting it with jelly. This is my water bottle. This is my meal now. Uh -huh. So yeah, I'm about to drink that, and I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. I'm back looking ratchet, y'all. Um, but. It is now 5.06. I'm sitting here doing my schoolwork. Um, Jelly's taking a nap. And <sighs> cravings are starting to kick in, y'all. I just had a taste for fries. Um, Jelly came to me and asked, can I open one of her snacks? And the mummy instincts were to taste some, but I was like, I can't. <sighs> but other than that, I'm doing good. I'm just really hungry. Uh, I got my, my, my meal plan here. I got my water for now. I got my water for later. <laughs> Y'all, <laughs> I'm going through it from being hungry to doing this assignment. And it's just the first week. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, I just want to do a quick check in. Um, I probably check in before I go to bed. And then after that, it'll be Sunday. So, that's when I'll come back. If I don't come back any other time after this, then I'll see y'all tomorrow. But my goal is to pick up the camera one more time before I go to bed. So, yeah. I'll see y'all in a bit or whatever. Good morning, y'all. <clears throat> I just woke up, so, yeah. I did it. It's 7.21 now. And I have, like, I think... 27 minutes maybe but yeah your girl did it I might just say I did it now because I doubt if I pick this camera up again I actually supposed to get up and exercise but uh, I don't know yet <laughs> we shall see but yeah other than that I did my 24 hour fast guys and I may exercise and then hopefully by the time I'm done exercising it will be time for me to eat breakfast and and yeah I feel good um I s took me a minute to go to sleep I don't know if it was because I was actually hung because I didn't eat or what I wasn't tired yet I don't know it took me a minute to go to sleep um but eventually when I did go to sleep I didn't have I didn't wasn't tossing and turning in my sleep or anything um but yeah I feel great uh, I thought I was gonna wake up feel like my stomach was, was aching or something but I feel perfectly fine I felt like I had a meal <laughs> already honestly so yeah um this so that this pretty much concludes the video I'm not gonna show you guys making my breakfast or anything because I don't know what I want to eat yet um I forgot to add that yesterday I did eat 1500 calories for breakfast and like I said, when I turned to my camera, that's when I started getting hungry. As far as how many calories I burnt yesterday, let me see real quick. Um, yesterday I burnt only 320 calories. So out of that 1,500 that I ate, I burnt 320. So I was like around 1,200 something. So no bad to that's just some laundry stuff right here. So yeah, other, I did pretty good. Like I said, I really wasn't feeling tired or whatever the case may be. I just knew when I was hungry, I had to drink some water. So, so yeah, that's I forgot to say that to y'all. So yeah, this pretty much concludes the video. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all are doing good if you're following your fitness journey. Um, like I said, I will be posting these weekly, so y'all can see my progress as it goes. But other than that, 
I will see you all in the next video. Bye, my lovies.